what's up y'all <laughs> welcome back to another video i'm tiffany williams glitz and glam by tiff.com is my blog and we're doing another vlog now last no not the last couple of actually yeah in the last couple of vlogs i feel like there's been like a lot of different things going on and to add on to that i'm moving we're moving me and my family my parents um, I've said this before, but I think I said this in a, a couple of vlogs ago. I live with my parents, and they're selling our current house that we're in right now. We're moving over to my aunt and uncle's old house, um, and they're buying that house. And so, yeah, actually, I've been in that house vlogging a little bit because I stayed there for a little bit. Um, and there's been like other things happening all at the same time, and I'm just kind of like. <laughs> that's how I feel there's no words just actions um and in between that I also just got a new job so I have orientation actually is that next week next weekend I believe yeah next weekend I have my orientation um which is great but I'm also moving so like packing getting things together <laughs> It's been a lot. I've been like asking my mom, like, okay, what's happening? What's, what's like, keep me updated. Um, I need to sell my bed because in the new house, um, my bed's not going to fit. And also I've had this bed for a million years. So, um, yeah, I think I've had this bed since high school. And like, I've been in and out of this house, like high school, college, like I lived on my own and then I came back and like yeah it's been a whole thing but I've had this bed <laughs> for, for a long time so it's time to start over um but I mean like, at the same time it's cool to have a new space a space that's different um I feel like actually we'll have more space in the house in the other house so it's gonna be good for that I don't know exactly which room I'm getting I don't know what my setup is gonna be yet so that's TBD so I'm trying to figure that out um but I'm keeping because I just bought like a ton of furniture and stuff so I'm keeping all that stuff but like I said just selling my bed so gotta figure that out and there's just like other things that's gonna be happening so I think this is gonna be a packing and moving vlog possibly with other things in between but just like I think I'm gonna be doing let's let's pack and let's move and just kind of sharing the process because it's actually my um, parents' first time selling their, their house. Like, we've been in this house. Well, I've been in and out, like I said. But this house, I think my parents have had this house for the past, what, 20-something years? So it's been a minute. Um, a lot of memories here. A lot of growing up has happened here. But it's time to move. Time to move on. So, yeah. Um, like I said, I don't know how this vlog is going to go. I just know there's probably going to be like packing and like different things, but I do have events and stuff coming up too. So I'll probably be sharing those different things. And yeah, because I think we're going to be moving out in the next like week or two. And then I'm also trying to keep up with my uh, collaborations and stuff too. <laughs> oh, what a time. But anyway, I just wanted to check in, say hey, start this vlog, and we'll see what happens. I'll keep y'all posted. I'll talk to y'all soon. <laughs> whatever 9 20 p.m i've taken a lot of stuff down off my shelves cleaned a ton of stuff threw a ton of stuff away but there's still so much to be done i have a lot of things 
this is gonna be hard but I'm getting through it um so yeah packing day one is over and we begin again tomorrow so yeah and I'm giving away and like selling a ton of stuff like shoes I've cleared some spaces on the shoe rack and also like from both closets because I yeah, I used two closets for my things um and I have this shelving unit right here that has stuff like all like packed together and it's so funny I have multiple ring lights so I'm actually I I'm gonna sell one I also had some other lights that I'm getting rid of but I still have like other lights <laughs> that I'm gonna keep and then my ring light is packed in here like my my big one and then I still have this small desk one just because like I like to have multiple lights like especially when I'm filming and stuff so I'm um, giving away some equipment and then keeping other stuff that I'm still using. So yeah, progress, progress, a little bit of progress. I feel like I've done nothing but done a lot at the same time. Anyway, I need to go and eat. My stomach is grumbling <laughs> and get some rest and start again in the morning. So. Ta-ta for now. Good morning. I have some oatmeal and I'm drinking tea this morning. Um, I also cut off all my nails because, you know what's so funny? I don't like getting my nails done. I would rather I rather just take care of my own nails because I feel like whenever I get them done, like they chip and they break and like they do all these things that they don't normally do. Like, yes, granted, my nails chip and break, like, but I feel like it's like after a while. But I, I just feel like they scrape down my nail beds a little bit too much, and it's just I don't like it. So yeah, so I got my nails done like a couple weeks ago for a shoot, and. Like, my nails were growing just fine. Like, I liked the shape and everything. But then there was, like, cracks on the sides. And I'm like... Of some, just, like, I think of two, two or three of my nails. I was just like, this doesn't ever happen to me. This is why yeah. I don't go to the nail salon. I don't like doing it. But anyway, um, today is day two of packing... I also have some work to do. I just an invoice. I have an event to go to later. Which, oh my gosh, it's so funny. There's been a few events coming up. And I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it. Like, there's, um, I know there's something, I think, going on next week. I haven't even RSVP'd yet. Because I'm just kind of like, I'm not sure <laughs> if I'm going to be able to make it. And I don't want to be like, yeah, I don't, I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it. We'll see. Because there's actually a couple of events happening next week. And there's a couple of things that people have, like, asked me about and, like, have emailed me and things. I'm just kind of like, I don't know. Because <laughs> I don't know where my life, my life is going to be at, um, Madison Avenue Couture. Hmm. <laughs> I also put a new phone case on my phone. I found this while packing yesterday. And I was like, I forgot that I bought this case. Let me put this on my phone. I like it so much better than my other one. I mean, my other one was cute, but like the little rhinestone things were falling off and it's getting on my nerves. So it's real extra as always, but it's pretty. <laughs> and I like pretty. So yeah, I'm just gonna hear my phone jingling. That's just, that's going to be a thing now. But anyway, I just wanted to check in for today. I'm really tired. I probably have crust on the side of my eyes still too. But um, yeah, let's get this day popping. I'll check in with y'all a bit later.
and I probably well actually I've showed the the rooftop that I'm going to in another vlog I'll probably put some clips in from my phone from today's event yeah probably all right anyway I'll talk to you later okay so I'm going through my shelves where well, I have like this whole case is the ikea like with all the squares that that shelving unit um and i have all of these like clips and things that i've made like over the years and i still have like a ton of like the letters because when i first started making clips um i made them with i used to just do Cause these were super popular the like um letter plate ones i don't even know if you can see that but yeah so i made like a ton of these like when i first started out like making different clips and i've made so many that i forgot about like there's just like different ones that i was like testing to see and there's like some that i sold too and I still have um, different ones because I would wear them all the time. And I did this like, oh, it's kind of falling apart now, but I did this bedazzled one. Like all the gems are falling off because it's so old. But um, yeah, it's like a ton of them I still have. I'm just like going through like all my stuff and like there's things that I've been given like over the years and like things that like um i just forgot about <laughs> and a lot of things where i'm just like i don't even know if i'm going to use that anymore or like what do i do with this but yeah i made clips of buttons like old buttons i did those too so i'm probably just because we're doing an estate sale at the other house so i think i'm just gonna like put a bunch in a box and either sell or donate them um and yeah people can have at it but yeah i still have like all of these like little charms which i think i'm gonna keep them to be able to do other like crafty things because like these are the one the the little charm letters with the side side slit things that are open so you can actually do like bracelets with them so i'm like hmm that gives me an idea gives me ideas ideas are brewing because i forgot that i had these totally for gold so yeah i just kind of wanted to pop in and talk about that right quick because there's like so many like arts and crafts projects also how cool are these clips I bought these from Amazon like a while ago. I had put little um, gems, I think, on some of them before, but they're so cool. So I'm like, I think I'm about to wear these in my hair today because I totally forgot that I had them. And then I have like different little barrettes that I've had that I bought like a while ago too that are so cute that I still have. And I always like to put like embellishments in my hair. So this is just kind of like what's happening and these little containers i feel like i got these at the dollar tree or something but yeah they're like a little drawer so i'm definitely gonna keep these so i can put accessories and stuff in them because i'm gonna probably just clear a lot of this out um but yeah packing <laughs> you discover things you discover things that you forgot about also this is a mug that I made like a while ago. It says Self Love Club. I don't even know if you can see that. Um, but yeah, it's just like a little clear mug. And I've had this for a little while. And it's so fun. So, yeah, just different little things that I am packing and putting away. It's like kind of overwhelming just a little bit. Because I have a lot of stuff. Like, it's so crazy because I've, got, I've gotten rid of a lot of things over time, but then I collect so many things because, like, I get gifted things, people give me things, and just things kind of show up somehow. 
Turn up the wig. I don't know. And I picked my outfit for later today, so hopefully I can share that with y'all later. But anyway, let me um, continue like packing up stuff before I need to get ready to go to this event. Because um, time is going to be flying by. But I'll check in with y'all later. <laughs> my makeup from today <laughs> um i'll probably insert a clip of my outfit i just did actually wore a caftan um and some shorts underneath and i did some little boots and just kind of kept it simple well my version of simple <laughs> kept it simple kept it cash um and then i love this ombre lip that i did today I think this lighting is better over here. I see like a red and a like, like a burgundy-ish color. Um, so yeah, I'm back home. The rooftop party was super fun. It wasn't as packed as the last party. Um, I feel like it was more chill this time and I didn't really get as much content as I did last time. I think I just kind of got some clips here and there. Um, of course, I'll share those and do like a little recap. Um, well, my phone's okay. um, but yeah, I'm actually about to get something to eat and probably like pack up a couple of other things before I go to bed because I actually have a Zoom call tomorrow that I need to get ready for. It's at 11, so it's not super early, but still. I it can't be seeing it all night. I need to be fresh, <laughs> if that makes sense. But I just wanted to check in um, after tonight. My highlight is highlighting. Love it. Um, but yeah, I'm about to go and get something to eat because I'm hungry. Didn't have as much food this time. I feel like the food was better last time. Anyway, it was good to catch up with the girls and stuff like that and um, just chill. Chill for the night on the rooftop. Um, yeah, that's all for now. I don't even know what I vlogged last to be honest, but progress is being made. There's like, oh, I need to take this stuff down too. But I don't have anything on top of my closet anymore here. Boxes, um, basically everything is off the shelves. Uh, I just need to, I think, pack my shoes and my clothes now at this point. Which, I have a lot of clothes and a lot of shoes. So that's going to be a task, but. Oh, and I think I need to go through my jewelry a little bit more too. Forgot about that. Yeah. But progress, progress is being made. I think I'm basically almost done. I need to do some laundry actually, because I have a lot of dirty clothes. But then I'm not going to really have anywhere to put them. I might just throw my dirty clothes in the basket and wash them at the other house. <laughs> we'll see. Um, yeah, we'll see. I'm really tired. I need to go and eat. I feel like I've barely eaten today. But I just wanted to check in because I don't think I've said anything today on the vlog. Um, we had tomorrow we're going to a Padres game, so it should be super fun. And just something to break up what's happening right now. So, I'll chat with y'all later. Good night. <laughs>
don't know lighting is probably terrible in here i'm in my closet <laughs> like literally sitting in my closet my closet is not a walk-in closet it's just like a regular closet but make myself a smoothie um while i clean and like pack up stuff i found so many things that like brought me back <laughs> to when i first started modeling being in college being in dance like doing all these things um just within the industry i'm like oh my gosh this is like pieces of history in my life that like i want to like i've kept a couple of things like there's a lot of things i've thrown away but there's a lot of stuff that i'm just like this is stuff that i could like share with other people especially because like with my brand and my company image like i'm sharing tons of things with models and people in entertainment and just like how things work and i found like old pay stubs from when i worked on veronica mars <laughs> let me see if it has any like okay but yeah so i found this from back in the day and it just has um like when i worked this was in 2006 uh august 2006 and for this time oh this is for one day of work for the day how much did i get paid i made well wait what it looks like i got paid 500 dollars just for the day which that was pretty good how many hours did we work that day Eight, nine, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Oh, I got a car allowance. Okay, I think they used my car. And then I think we worked extra time at this time. So interesting. But yeah, I think it was just like a regular day, but then we got time and a half. And then there was double time. And then I think we were supposed to take an extra meal, but I don't know if we did i feel like we did because like they fed us really well like working on these type of sets like for um, tv and film like we were always like well taken care of and they made sure that like i know not all sets are like that like let me not say that all sets are like that because some sets are a little crazy but at least when i worked on um veronica mars it was a stew cigar production um like we were very well taken care of we took breaks um they gave us time to just kind of like chill and stuff like that but then like they paid us well too and then i found like old they're like so faded but um old stubs from i worked on a soap opera it's called fashion house you can like barely see it on here now but um how much did i get paid i think i got paid 300 for the day I think I worked nine hours. That's what it looks like. But yeah, it was just an extra fashion house. It was on my TV 13, which is now, I think it ended up being like UPN. I think it was UPN, my TV 13. Then I think now this, no, I don't know if it's a CW. I'm not sure if it's even a thing anymore. I don't think it's like a, a channel. But um, yeah, like this is, one of those from that and i was just in the background what is this from oh this is Veronica mars um like i would get every, we had to get everything so like i remember wait we had to like wait in a line just because like this was back in the day this is 2006 so like technology was not what it what it was now so you had to wait in line you had to make sure you had your voucher because if you didn't have your voucher, you weren't getting paid. If anything happened to your voucher, yeah, you were kind of out of luck. But like, you had to make sure you kept track of all your stuff. Um, like the time you're in, time you're out, checking with your person that you checked in with. Um, and like I said, there would be like a line of people. Like I remember waiting in the line to be checked in and checked out. Like to be able to leave set and like be paid on time and like all those things because if you didn't and if you just kind of like left early and kind of did your own thing like chances are you might have just been like out of luck 
I also found this on one day when I went to set. Oh, I think this was on the same day. Yeah, I think this was... I want to say this was the first time I ever... No, 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 no. Let's see, this was at USD. No, this was like, I want to say a couple seasons in when I worked on Veronica Mars. Because I worked on Veronica Mars, I think, yeah, 2005, 2006. And I had to write down all the information, directions and everything. There was no GPS. <laughs> It's just so funny like thinking back to all these things and like I had to take notes and like write stuff down to be able to remember what it was that I, I needed um, to wear which I had to bring athletic wear, I had to bring casual clothes which you, we always had a list of things to bring with us and um, our like the fashion and wardrobe people like they would come and check like what we had and then sometimes we, they would give us things and then we had to make sure to like keep track of our outfits and like they usually would take photos of us um so for continuity like so if you came on one day of shooting and filming and then they asked you to come back you had to usually wear that same outfit depending on like what day it was that they were filming for so you had to like remember what the scene was and if you're in certain scenes or certain things like you had to always look the same um so the, <laughs> that's just so funny to think about um and just so interesting and yeah I just wanted to keep like some of these things just because it's stuff to look back on and like things that I can share with other people and then also I found my old Joss John Casablanca's book <laughs> which that's like so interesting just to see like just look back at different things I found a, a Chewy's club wristband I'm throwing this away but if anybody in San Diego remember Chewy's and it was like 18 and up I was like I was 18 I know it was right after high school like we would go out to the club um yeah fun times but yeah, I just wanted to share that just because there's like so many things that like I know I talk about and I share and people are probably like what girl what and like I got receipts <laughs> These are things that I've done and things that I can like share and I look forward to sharing so much more with like other models and people that want to be in entertainment and um, just be able to, you know, give my insight and my input and just talk about all my experiences because I have so many. Like there's things that like I've forgot a little bit and then like I look back at different things and I'm like, oh my gosh, I forgot about that. And like I did do that and yeah, there's just so many things to look back on even I found let me see if how much time I have before my, my camera cuts off I also found um I have like tons of pictures like portfolio pictures I haven't even looked at all this stuff yet like this is a oh this is a headshot I used sometimes it's all like discolored now Here's another photo that I had in my portfolio. It was in black and white. Here's a photo fave. Um, oh, D2 models. I forgot about that too. I found... There's another thing before technology. Um... Where are those envelopes? Oh my gosh, an old headshot. I think I went to LA to get these done. I have my name on it. And I would always send these out for like casting stuff, for TV, commercial stuff. Um, I don't know where it's at. Hold on. Okay, I found it. So let me talk quickly because I think my battery is about to die. And if it does die, if it does die, I will come back. But um, I was telling somebody and I was telling them, or maybe I was just like talking on social media, saying how like I used to get back in the day CDs of what my photos were and um, like just like my, I think my final photos. And then also I get CDs for photos, like proofs. But then sometimes I would get like sheets sheets to go through and pick my favorite photos and stuff 
Um, so then the photographer, whoever was taking the photo, they could be able to send those or like get them printed depending on like what it was. Um, and then, so yeah, I have like a few different like little like sheets of just nothing but like what my photos look like or just like the favorites and then like the different ones that were marked down. And back in the day, often photos came in both black and white and color because they use black and white photos and color photos. Because a lot of times headshots were in black and white for whatever reason. I I don't remember why they would have black and white photos. So I have photos that were in both color and black and white for my portfolio. Which like I said, I don't remember what the meaning was behind it and like why they... I think because color was just more expensive and they... Some, something with expense or something like that. Um, with like color photos. I don't know. But yeah, so I have a ton of like different little proof sheets and things from photo shoots back in the day. Um, and yeah, it's just interesting to look back on and just kind of see like how things have grown and things have changed like within modeling and like in the industry and like as technology has grown, like so many other things have grown and yeah, it's just very interesting. And I'm so glad that I kept all of this, honestly, so I can look back and just like kind of remember things and also help teach people along the way and just like share history behind like different stuff as well but yeah i just wanted to share a little tidbit i'm about to get back to drinking my smoothie and packing but just wanted to chat right quick and check in and all of that so talk to you soon Ooh.